Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm a cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. Okay, so it is a week later since we've had the massive heat wave here in Southern California. It was 117 degrees at the same time last Sunday. Or last Saturday. And now we are at a cool and comfortable 91 degrees with a little tiny bit of a breeze. So what I'm showing you guys today is the big fat trunk avocado, how bad the branches and leaves have burned in just a short time. I was showing you a video earlier how I've had such rapid growth on some of my seedlings. And I had just the opposite here. So as you can see, we've got tons of leaves that are burned. This happens every year. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't even phase me because everything, everywhere where it dies, it's going to grow branches again. So what we're going to do is we're going to defoliate this. I've shown you plenty of videos on defoliating maple trees, but now we're going to defoliate my avocado tree and it's going to come down to literally just branches. And I'm hoping that within a few weeks, it's going to be all fresh, brand new leaves. And I'm fine with that because it's going to make it juvenate, it's going to make it stronger and bushier, and it's going to make the big fat trunk even bigger and fatter and trunkier. So as you see, both of these trees have had the same issues. You know, the leaf, the tree knows that these leaves are, are not going to come back, and so it wants to discard them. So they're going to come off really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to defoliate this whole five-year-old avocado tree on fillet TV. Enjoy. Okay, first, we're going to take a closer look at this tree. As you can see, it's huge, huge caliber trunk. And you can see, I'm just touching it, and the leaves are falling off. So the tree knows that these leaves are all gone. So, I mean, I literally can defoliate it in seconds with just my finger. Okay, and as you can see, there's tons of branches they're gonna grow out of all these. And you could, okay, so there's no issue on, on these frying. As you can see, they're still, yeah, they're pretty toasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, knock all these leaves off that have any damage. Same thing, I'm gonna trim every one of these buds that might have any kind of damage. Like here, you can see it's just gonna go away. This one's, fine and then there's the little tree remember that we just topped last month here and then look how much activity I've got going on with branching down very low so we'll continue to watch this one grow very strong branches and you can see you shake these things and the leaves are going to come off so you see I just touch this and it's dropping its leaves. So rather than having the tree struggle, try and keep these dry leaves alive, let's entice it to get busy growing new leaves. See, and right there you have a little bud that's growing. And each one of those will become a new branch. Most of these leaves come off with the touch of a finger, but some of them are still very pliable. So I don't want to risk breaking, breaking the branches off. So I'll just go through here with some scissors and snip off any of the leaves that have damage. And this is much easier to do, of course, when you don't have a camera in your hand. So. I 
Okay, so you see where I've cut off all the branches. What I'll do in the next day or two, these pieces will dry and I'll pick them off and those little buds will get exposed. Okay, so I'm gonna get these plants cleaned up. I will be back. Okay, I wanted to show you on the tape measure. It's 54 inches off the ground. So that's four foot, six inches. And look at the amount of branching we have. And this is chest high. So you remember, this is where I took the cut and there was like three of them growing. Okay, unfortunately, we've had some burn off from the heat and this one branch, as you can see, it is trying its hardest to get to the top. And I don't want to do that. I want to have this one continue to be the dominant leader. And I don't want to cut this off because the more branching, the better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this one around this other branch to stop it from growing straight up and continue it, let it continue to branch out as a side branch. And you can see the strength that this thing has and how many intersections it has at a very low height. So when the tree matures, you're not going to have to climb a ladder to get to the fruit. That's the same thing with the big fat trunk. That's even shorter. This is like 36 inches off the ground. And it's got its share of branching. And then at about four and a half feet, it's got a ton of branching. So I'm not gonna let it get any taller than this. I want it to grow wide. Okay, so this is the update after five weeks with the big fat trunk and the experiment we're doing on the top. And look at that, look at how many branches are at four feet off the ground. Awesome. Okay, there you go. I didn't do any pruning, just a good defoliation to get rid of all the dead leaves. And so here are the naked trees with just a few leaves left. And there are all the leaves on the ground. And like I said, we'll check back in about three to four weeks and see where we stand. Anyways, anyways hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell because I will follow up on these.